YouTube, it's Kim, and today I am going to be showing you how to make zero point cheesecake. That's right, you heard me right. Now that non-fat Greek yogurt and eggs are zero, this talented woman, Lindsay, came up with a zero point cheesecake. She is on Instagram as WWPoundDropper. I will link her down below. Be sure to check her out and follow her. She has some great recipes. So let me show you what's in this cheesecake. You are going to need three cups of non-fat Greek yogurt, plain. I get mine at Aldi. It's the cheapest around $3.49 for that big tub. You're going to need three eggs. You can either use vanilla extract or almond extract. I'm just making the plain cheesecake today, so I'm gonna go with the vanilla and a box, a small box of Jell-O sugar-free, fat-free cheesecake flavor. And you're gonna need three tablespoons of sweetener of your choice. You can use Splenda or Stevia. I am going to use Stevia. All right, first you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You will also need a springform pan. You can use a round nine inch pan, but the springform pan makes it really easy. I have a glass bottom pan from Freeling. I will put that link down below on Amazon. It is a little pricey compared to other ones, so I'll also put in another less expensive option. Okay, so in your bowl, you are going to put your three eggs and then you're gonna add one tablespoon of your extract. I actually am measuring mine on my scale, so I don't have to use a tablespoon. So one tablespoon is 15 mLs. Next, you are going to add your sweetener. I am using stevia packets. You can buy stevia loose, kind of like Splenda, but I don't have that. So I did the conversion, three tablespoons is gonna be four and a half packets. Okay, then we're gonna mix that up, blend well. Okay, then we're going to add our three cups of Greek yogurt and our pudding mix. Again, I am going to be measuring mine on my scale in grams, uh, but you can use a cup measure and it's gonna be three cups. Okay, that is three cups of yogurt. Now we're going to add in our pudding mix. and we're gonna mix that up. I'm just gonna finish it by hand. Okay, it's all mixed up. Now we are going to put it in a springform pan that you've sprayed with nonstick spray. Okay, so it is in the pan and we're gonna put this in the oven on 350 for 30 minutes. She says it'll be a little jiggly when it comes out, but that's nothing to worry about. After you refrigerate it for a couple hours, it will set wonderfully. She suggests eating this the day after or definitely after it's been chilled for a few hours. So I'm gonna pop this in the oven and I will show you when it comes out. All right, so I just took the cheesecake out of the oven. Now I will let this cool, and then I am going to refrigerate it for several hours, and I will try it tonight. Okay, so this is the finished result. This is one eighth of the cake. It is kind of flat, like it's not as pus puffy as I've seen, but I'm gonna ask Linz if there was anything I did um, or didn't do to make that happen. But this piece has one smart point worth of light whipped cream for one smart point and seven grams of Smucker's sugar-free caramel for zero. So say one smart point dessert because the cheesecake one eighth is zero. You can have one fourth of the cheesecake for one smart point. I had a little taste and it is delicious. So let me know if you try this out. Put it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Stay fit and fabulous. Bye.